Oh, what an adventure! <laughs> Get lost with Google Maps. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, that's the time. That's the current temperature. It's cooling down now. It was over 40 today. 38 in the shade. As you can see, it's now 3.26 p.m. All right, one of my batteries arrived. There we go. Now these have got a hundred usable amp hours in them. Or oh, there's the watt hours there. And when they get down to these have got a very good um, battery management system built in. And uh, as soon as the battery hits 10 volts, it shuts off. Um, so I'd say they've probably got a bit more than 100 amp it's, it's a bit more than a 100 amp hour battery it's a little bit bigger than the 100 amp hour batteries i took out the agms i don't know what the total size is inside but there's 100 usable amp hours okay there's one now the other one now this one went to the airport in 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 uh, uh in, in in Victoria and then it went to Queensland it must have went for a bit, bit of a holiday and then it went down to New South Wales and then it went back to Victoria and then it was shipped to me over here the other one has just sat, sat at the in the airport that whole time in Victoria didn't move and um, now it's sitting in the Perth airport so I don't know, you know, this one went on a really long trip without the camper trailer. I just must have wanted to go somewhere, I don't know. And it got here first and the other one that didn't go anywhere, it's just sat at the airport, is now sitting at the Perth airport and I'm still waiting for it. Anyway, at least I've got one battery that turned up. Because that's not the uh, seller's fault. That's all down to the shipping company. Um, they actually shipped them. I thought they were coming. Um, they actually shipped them through Star Trek, which is a, um, a part of Australia Post. Um, I prefer Toll, but anyway, they use whatever they use and that's it. They didn't come with Toll or they would have been dropped off right at me right in my driveway they would have come knocking on the door and put them on the trolley and wheeled them out the back for me and said there you go chris anyway that's enough chatting over this battery it's had a really good holiday it had a marvelously long trip up to queensland and then it stopped off in new south wales so i, I hope it settles down now and he's happy with its new home in my camper trailer <sighs> Okay, so I'm going to start putting it in. Alright, there we go. You can see I put a bit of board down the bottom. That's um, lightly, lightly glued in so it doesn't shift. And those two bits of board at the side, they're just to give me some air, air spacing. Um, and this bit of wood here, you can see I've, I've routed an edge on it. That it's going to get screwed up in there, screwed and glued. And that'll hold the batteries in it. And then I've got those heavy nylon straps. And that's what I I put a uh, I put a rubber mat, that mat there, over my batteries. That bit of matting there. And that's what holds the batteries in. Um, on this, you can see I put this front panel back in, and you can see there's the uh, residual current switch there, the RCD. Um, it's not wired in yet. I'm still waiting on the inverter. When the inverter gets here, I'll mount that. And uh, 
then I'll get hold of the electrician and, and he can come and uh, do the wiring. We're just going to put a plug on the RCD to plug it into the inverter, um, but we're going to run a hard wire to a double power point down near the kitchen. And that's uh, because this is a uh, trailer, same as a caravan, everything's got to be double pole in it. The power point's got to be double pole, um, the RCD's got to be double pole. So when it shuts off, it shuts off both the active and neutral wire. And the same as the uh, power point. When you turn it off, it's got to turn off both the active and neutral wire. Um, um, I could do it myself, but I, um, it's over 50 volts AC. Um, we're not allowed to wire anything over 50 volts AC or 130 volts DC. Uh, I, I believe it's 130. I don't think they've lowered it. But don't take my word. If you're doing wiring, always check it out what you're allowed and not allowed to do. Um, that's a safety thing, you know. All right, so uh, with this one battery, at least I can, I, I can make up the leads. Now, the leads I'm going to be using, I've got a couple off cuts here. This is uh, 35 millimeter. Um, it's got two coatings on it. It's actually uh, Boswell. Uh, it's, hang on a minute. I'll see if I can find a bit. Okay, this is um, very high copper, 99.9% .9 pure copper, uh, low oxygen uh, welding cable, 35 millimeter squared, and yes, it will carry the load. Um, of a two kilowatt inverter, no worries at all. Uh, and that's what I'm using. And you can see how flexible this stuff is. I mean, you could look at this. Look at it. Just keep wrapping it around your arm. Look at it. <laughs> Try doing that with standard bloody rubbish um, wire. All right, so that's the wire I'm going to be using, and I'm going to get on with the job. Hopefully the other battery might turn up tomorrow if, if, if they remember to load it onto the truck. I suppose that depends whether or not the workers at Australia Post go out drinking tonight, I don't know. All right, so what we're going to end up with is the DC is going to be on that back panel across there, and the AC is going to be on this front panel. The inverter will be behind on the back of back of this panel behind there the wires will all run back behind there and um because hopefully hopefully uh this is the last time in many many years that i've actually got to get into the that section of the trailer oh that would be nice that would be nice all right so there's a bit of an update for you so these have got a hundred amp usable amp hours in them but i think they're a bit bigger and they've got they automatically shut off at 10 volts uh, there's other lithium batteries out there that are a bit cheaper than these um but but if they you know they say a hundred amp hour and that's their total capacity and when they're flat they're flat and you'll really damage a lithium ion battery if you run it dead flat, shorten its life if not destroy it altogether. That's what I've been told. Okay, and I listen. I listen to the people that, that should know what they're talking about. Hopefully. All right, YouTube. I'm going to uh, bake up some leads and get done what I can get done, and uh, hopefully the other battery will be here tomorrow. Keep safe. Bye for now.